Don't tell your mother Kiss one another Die for each other We're cold for the summer So, what's up, guys? So, if you've been living under a rock this last week, week and a half, if not just completely just ignoring what's been going on, uh, then you probably won't know what this is about. But for those of you that do know what this is about, you'll understand where I'm getting at. So, just a quick rundown. Um, about a week ago, the U.S. military ordered an airstrike in Afghanistan in a, in a town called Kanduz. And in, in this town happened to be a hospital, a Doctors Without Borders hospital. Now, the story has changed from the day to day. It's changed just as fast as the U.S. military can change it out, in and out of their uniforms. But essentially what the original thing was, was that it's saying that it was a mistake, it was an accident, it was this, it was that. They also then claimed that, oh, there may have been Taliban insurgents in the hospital. And then a U.S. military four-star general ended up saying that was complete BS, stating that they had no such intelligence. In addition to this, Doctors Without Borders has also claimed that they had no prior warning, as well as the fact that they had said numerous times during the bombing campaign, during a full 30 minutes, that they were giving the military the right coordinates, say, stating that they were being bombed, that they were that the military was bombing them, and in but in doing so, the U.S. military simply fucking ignored it. The U.S. military continued bombing Doctors Without Borders in Kanduz knowingly. They continued to bomb a hospital. They knowingly bombed a hospital. Let me repeat that one more time. The U.S. military knowingly bombed a hospital. I don't think I have to un really relay that message too many times to let it stick in the heads of many. And if anybody knows anything about international law, particularly the international law regarding, you know, actions in war or, or and whatnot, to understand what the Geneva Convention states. In fact, under the first and fourth Geneva Conventions, they provide for the possibility of setting up hospital and safety zones. Essentially, this is the state practice. Uh, state practice establishes this rule as a norm of customary international law applicable in both international and non-international armed conflicts. Essentially, what the first Geneva Convention, Article 23, cited in Volume 2, Chapter 11, sec Subsection 1, and Fourth Geneva Convention, Article 14, First Paragraph, uh, uh, Subsection 2, uh, in several instances, actually was um, essentially stating that no military in times of war or peace can knowingly bomb hospitals. They cannot bomb places that have sick or wounded casualties or victims or just in general citizens. You cannot do that. It is against international law and it is a war crime under the, under the laws of war. And whether you want to justify it as a war or a police action, it still, in some cases, is at least to most extents considered a armed conflict. And in this case, the U.S. military committed a war crime. They committed a human rights violation in Afghanistan. They knowingly bombed a hospital, thus violating the Geneva Convention they have committed a war crime. Now, of course, this is not new. The U.S. has basically commi has been committing war crimes ever since 2001 when all this campaigning first started. Because basically, let's be honest, this was nothing more than a vengeance sort of thing. This was an act of, this wasn't, this whole war has been an act of revenge. It's been, it hasn't even been about finding particular targets. It's just waging a campaign of violence 
against an entire race of people, an entire region of people. And for what? To kill a couple thousand f uh, fucking knuckle-headed idiots with fundamentalist beliefs? Or 30,000 idiots, that, you know, most of which are Western mercenaries and other ragtag group of miscreants, you know, in Iraq, Syria, and Turkey? For, for a, what, a simple, probably what, in grand total, maybe 50,000 people? You have an army of, t of two and a half, uh, two and a half, um, or 250,000 and that are active and waged a campaign with at least a hundred and something thousand troops on in Iraq and Afghanistan and other and God knows how many more in other countries to simply take out these small cells of idiots but instead no you you don't you're not even searching for targets you're simply just bombing random acts of, you know, random lands, bombing people, killing doctors, killing civilians, killing children, killing even journalists. You don't have to look any further than the Bra the Chelsea Manning uh, video that was leaked a few years ago in which the U.S. military bombed 12 innocent civilians, two of which were Reuters journalists, they're, they're not even, the military isn't even going after anybody anymore. They're, they're, at this point, I, I, I'm sorry, and I've got people that are in my family that are military, but I can't stand by and do, and do this anymore. The, the, the truth is out. The U.S. military is doing nothing more than committing war crimes. This Doctors Without Borders incident was a war crime, and you can dress it up nice and pretty as much as you want to, but you cannot deny that this is what happened. You cannot deny it or pass it off as some accident or random, you know, uh, you know, random thing saying, well, there may have been Taliban instances. Well, unless there was actually Taliban insurgents in that hospital that they can prove, then there's no justification for this action. The people that they killed were had families. The people that they maimed had families and people that cared about them. Now, of course, I'd be saying the same thing if this was just even Afghani citizens. But the only reason why we're hearing about it is because this war, these were Westerners. But let's be honest, most of these Westerners were probably Europeans, Canadians, even our own American citizens. And you've killed, maimed, and traumatized these people for no other, for no other reason. You didn't have the right coordinates. You lied to the to the entire world to cover this up. Only has it been exposed through Doctors Without Borders themselves and by a four-star general saying that you had no actual intelligence proving that the targets you were after were Taliban or any other extremist group. What has been done cannot... Can, only be defined as lightly as a crime against humanity and to the most extreme a war crime. The US military and the US government thereof should be prosecuted by the International Criminal Court for the atrocities that they committed in Kanduz. I personally, as a political activist and as a Marxist YouTuber, personally believe that the U.S. government and the U.S. military that was involved in this particular instance should be prosecuted all the way down to the lowest person who was just following orders all the way to the top to the highest official who ordered the airstrike. This is modern day Nuremberg and personally I want heads to roll. 
for the mil for the freaking n numerous group the, for the numerous people that were hurt, killed, or just plain traumatized. Nothing can be the same again. This action was completely and blatantly senseless. But of course, you know, all the really hard, strong military people will just say, well, we had to do what we had to do. No. Bombing a hospital is not doing what you wanted, what you can, had to do. Bombing a hospital is an atrocity against humankind. You bombed a hospital that you knowingly knew that you were being told by the people that was a hospital, a Doctors Without Borders hospital, and you continued your airstrike against this this group of people, against this this region, against this town. And again, I don't have to go into the total specifics, but the Geneva Convention clearly states that hospitals are supposed to be neutral safe zones. And by knowingly bombing this hospital, you violated one of the most sacred of all international laws. And because of that, the U.S. government and the U.S. military that was involved in this, members of the military and government that were involved in this, need to be prosecuted. There needs to be a Nuremberg-like scenario to, to basically, uh, I can't even think of the word right now. The, the members that ordered the, from all of the higher up officials in the government and military that ordered this, right down to the lowest mem ranking official that, that was just following orders, needs to be prosecuted to some extent. These men and women, whoever they were, must be brought before the Hague, tried, and if possible convicted and sentenced for their crime. I, I just have no words for this. We knew that the U.S. government was senseless, but now... The actions that go that are going on in Afghanistan, that are going on within the Middle East, just don't seem like they're that justified anymore. This was an Arab issue, and it should have remained an Arab issue from the very beginning. There was no prior warning. There was no, you know, th there was no confirmation of people within this area that were extremists or insurgents. So basically what was committed in Kanduz was just a wanton act of violence. And to all of those that want to go on defending the military and all this, I, I, I don't even want to talk to you. I really don't. Because nothing you say can honestly justify what these people did. These people killed doctors. They killed innocent people. They injured innocent people. But of course, I'm just some bleeding heart, of course. No. You're just a senseless person who doesn't understand what was committed was a crime against humanity. It was a war crime. It violates international law. Well, to hell with international law. To hell with you. There is a reason why international law is in place. Why people have signed on to this. Why people have agreed to abide by certain international law. And if you violate said law, you should be made to be punished for it. So, 
Yeah, that's where I'm going to end with this. I'm done. And go ahead, get all pissed off if you want. But, you know, it, it's kind of hard to deny what goes on, what has gone on. It's hard to deny all this brutality. It's hard to deny the fact that these people were desperately crying out to the military, telling them to stop bombing their hospital, and they were, they were just blatantly ignored. And it had to take an actual general in the U.S. Army or U.S. military, excuse me, to openly come out and said, say, we had no actual intelligence that there was Taliban insurgents in that area. And the fact that the military has lied, that they have covered up, and that the U.S. military and government has changed their story numerous times to save face has only proven to further blow up in their face itself. It does only make them look worse in the eyes of the international community. And of course, if all of this for some reason makes me unpatriotic, then I have just as much right to say that, it, that, what, that your defense of what went on is inhuman. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been NorCal Corner. Peace.